Hello, everyone, and welcome to D2C Dialogues. Today, we have got the founder of Biryani by Kilo, Mr. Vishal Jindal. Biryani by Kilo, the tagline goes like this, Kursat Wala Yam, Dam, Dama, Dam, Dam. About the company as per their LinkedIn profile, Biryani is a complete meal filled with aromas and flavors, a recipe that's authentic and versatile that caters to delivery uh, very well. It is our belief that Biryani will be the biggest food services and delivery category from India. We at Biryani by Kilo are committed to becoming the premium biryani chain, Pan India, and also to make the biryani category popular worldwide. While our biryani is made fursat se, we keep pace with innovation in the food tech and delivery space by holistically inculcating a proactive social cause in our business model. We are conscious about the environment and believe in giving back to the society by ensuring all our earthenware handis are crafted by hand at Kumhara Gram on the outskirts of Delhi, thus providing sustainable employment to the artisans. Welcome to the D2C Dialogues, uh, Vishal. Hi, thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you, Dr. Hitesh. Thank you. So let's start with the first question. You have been a financial wizard. You have been in the uh, PVC world. What made you, you know, change your career from finance to food and in food, especially biryani? So from financial wizard, say biryani wale aap kaise ban gaye? You know, very important question. It's a very important question in my life. My wife also asked me the same question when I wanted to do this. So I'll tell a brief uh, about my life. I did my engineering from IIT BHU. I did my MBA from USA. And then I was in IT business, finance, like you said, private equity, hedge funds for a long time. And during my investment career, I invested in a lot of consumer companies, public, private. And a lot, couple of them happened to be F&B companies. So being a avid foodie and lived in New York, Singapore, I always, you know, I saw chains like McDonald's, Burger King, you know, Chipotle, which have been, you know, worldwide uh, household names. And, yes. you know, in India, we have such a big, such a rich food heritage, be it be from Gujarati food to Maharashtrian food to, you know, Punjabi food, everything, you know, such rich food heritage. But despite that, we don't really have a worldwide chain like Chipotle or a McDonald's or yes. a Burger King or Domino's. So I really wanted to create one and biryani in my you know research as an investor and looking at so many companies in the west asia is that was that category where indians like we have a right to win you know it's a it's a whole it's a complete meal you know like a burger or a pizza yet it's you know more aromatic more flavorsome than burger or pizza it's healthier than burger and pizza it's gluten free it's a complete meal like if you want to deliver dosa it's, you know, tricky. Or if you want to do roti, dal, sabji, you have to order, order too many things. But biryani is a complete meal, healthier, very delivery friendly, and a very big market. And everyone knows biryani because it has been sold, it has been eaten in Indian households and worldwide for hundreds of years. Only no company has done it, I think, I thought, has done a good job in, you know, selling authentic biryanis and that too, uh, through systems and processes. By what I mean, standardization, like a McDonald's, that's a standardization where you know, or in a Burger King, that you'll get the same burger or pizza worldwide if you eat anywhere. So I think we wanted to do that in biryani while keeping the recipes authentic, but do the standardization in a way uh, that if today, you know, I'm very happy to say if you eat eat a biryani in Guwahati or Jamshedpur or Ludhiana or Bangalore or NCR or Jammu, you'll get the same taste, be it be our kebabs or biryani or curry, so so we have done that level of standardization where we have, you know, uh, uh, all our input materials, be it be rice or chicken or kathal or paneer or spices or handis. And the process has been standardized in a way which took a lot of tech and a lot of food technologists so that we are able to give the same delicious biryani which your mother will cook. And we are the only company to make fresh biryani on order for every individual order. Only after the order comes the rice or meat or rice or vegetable spices go into the handi and the handi goes into the oven. 
and it's sealed and it goes to the customer and the customer only opens the seal, be it be dining or delivery. So to answer your question, very passionate about creating a f and chain from India like McDonald's or Burger King, where we can make all the Indians in the Bharat proud and deliver our dish, which is so loved by Indians, biryani kebabs, the most authentic form, not only to India, but to the rest of the world. And I think uh, we have been able to do quite well. I think. Yes, indeed, uh, Vishal, and congratulations for that. You did mention that your vision is to, you know, uh, your benchmark, your mm -hmm. vision against McDonald's and Burger King, you know, an international chain. Uh, when you started, obviously, you were a financial wizard and uh, in that industry, and suddenly you have become a, a person who is who is making and creating a biryani brand. Uh, how did you start? You know, if you can just give us uh, those initial years, the challenges that were there, and how did you overcome those challenges? Because you don't know how to, you may know how to cook a biryani in your kitchen, but the the processes that you mentioned, the standardization that you mentioned, the vision that you mentioned, obviously it, it requires a lot of strategic planning. So initial, how did you go about doing it, you know, uh, creating this brand? So, see, I come from a finance marketing background, strategy background, scale-up background, but I don't understand f and ops. So my co-founder uh, with me, Kaushik Roy, he's a f and veteran, he's a ops uh, wizard. So we joined hands, and I think for the first few months, uh, he and his team worked, you know, uh, very assiduously, very religiously to create the back end for this biryani where uh, uh, all the input materials, like I said, from rice to spices to meat to vegetables were standardized. The process, everything, the handi, you know, base to thickness to the mouth to temperature, moisture, everything is standardized to the hilt so that, you know, the end product is seen. So that was in earlier, see right now also, we take around 50 minutes to deliver the biryani, not 30 minutes because we cannot make fresh biryani in 10 minutes like pizza. We need around 25 minutes to make fresh biryani in Handi. And another 20, 25 minutes are required for delivery. So we take around 45, 50 minutes to deliver right now. So I think at that time in 2015, when we started, we used to take three hours to deliver because we didn't evolve the technology as much, but we still wanted to make fresh biryani. So all those were very big challenges to standardize the biryani. It's not a, in small portions. Earlier, we used to do one kg. Now we do half kg, single portion. To so standardize the biryani, kebabs, to, you know, uh, to convince people that the delivery will take few hours because it's fresh. So all that, you know, the operations, moving so many handis all over the country and, you know, training people. So all, and keeping the standardization right every time. I think keeping that foundation right I think was quite challenging, but I think given that I and Kaushik and the others who joined us from day one, a lot of them are still there. I think that all together, the team, I think we were able to uh, overcome those challenges. Yeah. So the major challenge in food, because it's a perishable product, you know, and this is a classic case of supply, supply chain efficiency. You know, hmm. uh, how do you, uh, you know, maintain that? Because see, supply chain is the key, sourcing of the material, preparing the biryani, ensuring it is delivering fre delivered fresh. So how do you manage your operations? Uh, is it standardized at one place uh, or you have got various, uh, you know, um, um, central, kitchen. kitchens, central kitchens across the uh, country, you know, state-wise or something? How do you do that? If you can so, we have, so we have one central kitchen in each region, north, south, east, west. And from there, we, we would, you know, supply handis and, and you know, butchery, cut meats, marinations, curry paste, kebab paste. But the end product will be cooked fresh at the outlet, which we believe in. But the recipes and the raw material, which is standardized and the marinations, everything will be supplied from the central kitchen. So currently, how are, where all are you available across the country? One is the mm -hmm. online chain, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, geographically, where all are you present and how do you deliver? So we are in 45 cities now, Touchwood North. We are in most cities from Patna, Lucknow, Jaipur, Delhi, Noida, Faridabad, you know, Chandigarh, Mohali, Patiala, Jammu, everywhere. And East also from Calcutta, Jamshedpur, Guwahati, Patna, everywhere. 
south and west also of course mumbai pune you know nagpur etc so we are other than i think tamil nadu kerala and gujarat i think we are available in most states we are there and we take orders to our website biryanibaikilo.com or our app people can download or our all india call center or through zomato swig and we have one dining outlet per city in the 40 cities or more we have people can go and experience us there as well okay and all the information know. people can get on our website okay so what are some of the strategies you implement to maintain consistency in quality and taste across all your offerings because every state or every region and within the state also the temperatures vary and you know the quality of the products etc and uh, uh, the taste also vary but uh, how do you maintain that quality and the taste standardization quality you may but is taste standardization also possible no well, of course it's possible like uh, and uh, because we use the rice from dawat which is the two years naturally aged premium basmati the most expensive rice same for you know meat same for vegetable same for curd so we have standardized the materials and the processes to the hilt and there's a lot of technology used in all our kitchens to monitor that there are ai enabled cameras to monitor the quality in each and every steps we have very rigorous audit processes and we do a lot of mystery audits we take feedback from each and every customers of ours if there are any if they didn't like the product or like the product so so there's very rigorous systems of audit quality you know import processes in place because like i said we always wanted to be a worldwide company and we already are the pan india leader so so uh, so all that quality taste and also like i said we do hyderabadi lucknowi calcutta different variety so there's a taste profile for every region in bangalore we also do guntu and we will go to chennai we will do dindugal also so there's a taste profile for every region and we are able to give these in different parts of india so i think so different taste profiles but with all consistency standardization is there with the through the processes and the audits how many kinds of products you have in terms of uh, one 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 is obviously the biryani and you gave this three four uh, names hyderabadi lucknowi dindigul etc because mm. customers will vary and you know customers want ultimately it's the food so obviously in india uh, biryani is biryani but region wise it is different and you have mastered that mm. art uh, how often uh, you take the feedback that is one before that if you can answer that how many products you have and what is your strategy ke okay i will change the product or introduce a new product or you want to keep only 8 to 10 products uh, is is what your product strategy would be so we have 20 25 products like uh, like i said hyderabad lucknowi calcutta and we have like chicken mutton you know kathal biryani which is very popular jack food biryani in in vegetarians paneer biryani chole biryani veg biryani and of course then we have accompaniments with them salan raita burani raita curry masala and then we are very very you know proud of our kebabs we eat mutton galotti veg galotti chicken seek chicken tikka one of the best kebabs we have and then we have some one veg curry dal and uh, paneer curry and one mutton curry one chicken curry and then we have the very we say the world popular world famous fimi we have in gulab jamuns so we have 20 25 sets ke use a limited menu but quite good and 90% of the menu we keep same because it's very popular but 5 10% of the menu we keep changing as per the region like goa we will have some more seafood bangalore we will have some bangalore kebabs so some 10% menu will be tweaked as per the region okay uh, you did mention uh, you know benchmarking against mcdonalds and uh... Mm-hmm. some ways of the world or burger kings of the world uh, currently we have got one uh, physical a uh, retail outlet or a store uh, you know or a uh, you can say a outlet where people can come and experience but in, how in are each, you planning in in each city like like in delhi we have in kanad place patna we will have one jalandhar we will have one guwahati we will have one calcutta we will have one one physical outlet per city we have so what are your plans in terms of you know increasing this physical outlets so we are going we are signing up this year with airports and highways so we'll be going more towards because we also want to be more visible our customers who experience us as more places so highways and airports will be targeting this year okay uh, but predominantly you will be an online uh, yes you know, yes yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, now coming but, back but, to this, but we have very good dining outlets from Jaipur to Chandigarh to Mohali to Jalandhar to Guwahati and we encourage people to go there as well. Very nice. Now coming to this crowded market challenge, you know, you have got players like Behros Biryani and Biryani Blues and Ammi Biryanis and many such Biryanis across the country. And each of them are, you know, many of them, if not each, are strong players in that limited region or the city that they operate. How do you differentiate yourself uh, with them, uh, uh, Because See, none of them make, like I said, fresh biryani on, on every order. Mo everyone else is making biryani in bulk and reheating and sending it. So we say ki we are the only company to make it fresh in handi for every individual order. And that handi is sealed. The only, and it's sealed cooked. And the customer only opens the seal. So they get a fresh piping hot biryani, which is untouched, very hygienic. And the kind of materials, like I said, the rice we used is a two years naturally aged premium basmati from Dawat. And more, all our ingredients will be meat, spices, vegetables, a very different level. So we are saying also the range which we give from Hyderabadi, Lucknavi, Calcutta, jackfruit biryani, paneer biryani, kebabs, curry. So I think we are saying in terms of fresh biryani on every order, the range of biryanis, and the high quality of ingredients, I think, for our customer able to, I think, understand that and be eco-friendly. Our handis are usable for recooking, putting plants. So I think we have many differentiators. And sure. customer loves, love has shown us that they do appreciate it. So on the price points, Vishal, uh, would would uh, biryani by kilo be at a premium level? Because, you know, with so much of standardization quality, it is yeah. it is but natural that you will come at a price. So we will be, we might be 10 to 15 percent higher than competition, but I think it's worth the kind of quality of ingredients, digestion, and fresh and hygienic nature of and really tasty products. So I think authentic products. So I think the 10 15 percent premium is should be worth it for most customers to pay. Sure. How did you market yourself when you started, and what do you see? How where do you see your marketing strategy now? Because when you started, it was obviously nothing. But today you are present in 45 cities and with so much of uh, popularity that you have gained. Uh, can you talk through us about the uh, various or key marketing strategies that you have you know, implemented for the success of Biryani by Kilo? So see, I'll encourage, you know, we created a web series called Dam Lagake India. It's on Disney Hotstar and Biryani by Kilo YouTube. So Ranbir Barag, who's the celebrity chef, hosted it the four parts. And we had celebrities like Bani Kapoor, the Bollywood actress, Arman Malik, Ar the, he's the singer, and uh, uh, P.V. Sindhu, the badminton player, and we had uh, Pranita Subhash from Bangalore. So we have produced web series, we have a lot of influencer marketing. Of course, we do a lot of ATL campaigns in newspaper, and also BTL campaigns, events in the cities, corporate events, and of course, aggregator marketing. So combination of all digital marketing, Google, Facebook, influencer, ATL, and a lot of very high quality content. Like I said, the web series, Damlaga Kendi. I think combination of all of them. See, recently we did a campaign now with Shivam Dubey, the IPL player, I think. So I think it's also come out. It's on his Instagram and our Insta and YouTube. So I think we keep on doing different things to engage and bring forth our, our unique points to the customers. Vishal, uh, we spoke about product, consumer, marketing, but now let's come to the finance part. You, mm. you, you yourself, you know, had that background. How easy or difficult it was for you to raise money? So it's always difficult to raise money. Money is always the most difficult thing, either to raise or to make, right? So, I think it's always a difficult part. But I think if you keep doing what is right and you believe in it, and if you keep growing, I think. People see it. Investors are smart people. So they see it. If someone, our team, Kaushik, me on the team, they said we had, they always see that we had conviction, we had vision, and we were executing. So, and then people come along. And I think then once I think, I think, and that's what happened with uh, you and Biryani by Kilo as well. Right, right, right. Great. Of course. Yes, yes. And, you know, through you, I also wanted to say, like, you're a vegetarian. I always say we have very big range for vegetarians. We we cuttle biryani, paneer biryani, chole, veg kebab. Our veg gulotis are very popular. Our paneer curry or dal or finni. So we encourage in our Romali roti. We encourage the vegetarians. We are very proud of our vegetarian menu. 
good now let's come to the future of cloud kitchens you know mm -hmm. with the changing consumer preference consumer behavior consumer taste and the technological evaluations that are happening in the indian at least cloud kitchen industry where do you see uh, this cloud kitchen model heading towards uh, today or the next 5 years uh, and uh, how does the biryani by kilo plan to you know uh, uh, evolve or uh, what new innovations you want to come, uh, you know come up with so first where do you see the cloud kitchen model and then we'll talk about the future innovations so i think most cloud kitchen players will evolve to three four brands each because i think people want to utilize their kitchens better so maybe a breakfast brand a evening brand night brand so three four brands we'd be box eight or rebel or us people want to do but i would say three four brands is the right key where people have expertise different cloud kitchen so we believe we have expertise in indian food so other brands are one of them is goila butter chicken where we do north indian cuisine from dal to butter chicken to shahi paneer to everything we are very well known other brand is get away healthy desserts where we do low calorie you know no sugar high protein vegan different kind of ice creams cheesecakes and pastries etc and the other brand which we do is a complete vegetarian the bhojan which is uh, you know like from pav bhaji to you know samosa chaat so we believe we we have expertise in indian brands where our our team and our commissaries and supply chain are gear so i think every cloud kitchen will see where they have their expertise where they were right to win where but i think the key here is to create brands where the uh, company can create unique products consistent products high quality products where the customer love can be there and where they can give differentiated quality product at the right price so that will be the key i think for cloud kitchens to be able to create three to four good brands in each Uh, given the rapid expansion and the recent funding rounds that you have got, uh, Vishal, uh, what is what are the next big milestones that you are targeting, or what would be your you know uh, uh, target vision for the next five years? So we'll be doing Series C also this year, which will be a last round, and in three years we want to go for IPO. With the right now we are around a three hundred crore top line company. By that time we should be a nine hundred thousand crore company with a healthy EBITDA. We So one is to be right now we are hundred outlets in the five years we want to be two fifty three hundred outlets go for IPO and go also go international with the authentic biryanis and kebabs to Middle East, Far East, some few more countries. So that is our vision to take the India's best of India to rest of the world and uh, grow more and more pan India and go for IPO in the next three four years. Excellent. Uh, with this, we'll come to the rapid fire round, uh, Vishal. Hmm. Uh, I'll be asking a couple of questions to you. Sure, sure. Favorite food apart from biryani, what is your favorite food, Vishal? Uh, Japanese food. Uh, my first job in New York was with a Japanese company, and I lived in Singapore, where everyone was Japanese. And I think I do like the precision and the quality of the food with Japanese bring. So I love that. What? Who do you see as your main competitor in the market? So see, everyone is a competition, and a lot of people are making good food. But biryani, we again say because we are making fresh biryani on every order and very wide range, we we love ourselves and we think we are doing a great job. But other than that, I think a lot of people are doing great food. So I think it will not be fair to name one company or person. A daily routine, early bird or a night owl? What suits you best as an entrepreneur? No, no, I am an early bird. I like to get up early, maybe go for my tennis or. You know, like go out, go for a walk. So I like getting up early. Inspirational figure. Who is your entrepreneur ideal or uh, idol or an inspiration? No, I think it is for many people. It's of course Elon Musk. I think he has created from PayPal to SpaceX to Tesla to many more companies. So he is every entrepreneur's ideal to create such wide range of companies and be the leader in so many of them. If I have to do a cinematic comparison. Uh, if biryani by kilos were a movie, uh, which genre would it be? So it'll be a thriller. <laughs> thriller. It'll be thriller, right? Like very ups and downs. I think thriller, and I think finally emerging victorious, taking India's Bharat's dishes to the rest of the world and to the India in the most authentic and delicious way. Customer is the king. What is the strangest customer feedback that you have ever received? 
I think a very wide range of feedbacks, but I broadly, I do get a lot of love in wherever I see people, people come and hug me, people always very happy. And I think I have, uh, you know, like I sometimes feel like a celebrity, people want to take photos with me. And, you know, like, I think it's just all an entrepreneur can ever ask for. If you are not in this biryani business, where would have you been? So, like I, like you said, I was in finance. Maybe, you know, I like being an investor. I like, you know, uh, helping other entrepreneurs grow their businesses. But at some point in time, maybe I like also maybe to be a writer, podcaster, maybe in the next life. Yeah. So, so a writer, podcaster, an entrepreneur, a financial yeah. wizard, that, that's still there in, in Vishal Jindal. Yeah. Why yeah. not? <laughs> you know, I think we all have to live our dreams, our ambitions, our motivations. I think we have one life. Let's do whatever we can do best and make difference in people's lives in a Excellent. positive way. Excellent. Let's make difference in people's life positive way. That mm -hmm. was Vishal Jindal for us. The the vision for next five years, he wants to take his company to 1,000 crores, international and obviously an IPO also. Mm -hmm. We wish you, Vishal, all the very best to achieve your uh, vision for the next five years. Thank you very much to talking to us uh, uh, at uh, D2C Dialogues. Appreciate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Itesh. And I'll uh, encourage all your viewers to download Biryani by Kilo app and order from our website. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.